Hey Virgo, welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you all so much for joining me. I do appreciate your viewership, engagement, and your likes, as well as your subscriptions and comments. So keep those coming. All right, take what resonates from this reading. Flip the roles if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy. Don't claim anything that's not yours. We start off with jealous, and we have narcissists here as well. And I am picking up some narcissistic energy. Some of you may be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or in a, I mean, a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio. Maybe you are. I did not mean to say that. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or an Aquarius. I'm picking up very strongly for you. Somebody around you is jealous or making you jealous. Let's see what jealous represents in the book. Do they have what you think you want? Mm. Or are you just stuck in a shameful compare and despair cycle? What is for you will not pass you. So if there is someone around you who's narcissistic, I'm, I'm hearing narcissistic abuse. Um, maybe they go out of their way to make you jealous. They could be jealous. They could be controlling. Whatever the case, um, you may be convincing yourself you need to stay with this person. But I see that you are not going to be staying with them. I'm sorry to tell you. Um, if you're in a situation that I'm describing, you will be walking away from this person. It's coming to an end. Some of you, it's an Aquarius. We have the five of swords here. This person is very jealous. This person is very vengeful. This person is very cutthroat. Um they don't care who they hurt they get what they want and they don't care who they step on we have remember in the past this could be a person you have a lot of toxic bad memories with it could also be someone who they personally walk around with a chip on their shoulder because of their past they can't get over something that happened to them and they take it out on other people not cool all right but we have you moving away from them this person is also a criminal the five of sports can represent abuse i told you narcissistic abuse this person could be physically abusive controlling manipulative whatever the case they have a criminal background for some of you and you are moving away from them a lot of you may be getting this person arrested if they have done something to you physically maybe that's a pattern that you all have i definitely see this is really really toxic and you are finding the strength to move away from this and it's taking a lot out of you this has been draining you so it could be a cancer. And then we have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. I do feel like this is partly your energy, but some of you are also dealing with a fire sign, a, an arrogant fire sign, um, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. And this is the end of this relationship. Some of you are finding the courage, the strength, the confidence to, to boldly move away from this person, no matter if other people think you should, no matter if you're telling yourself on some level that you should stay, you got the middle finger up and you're like, nope, I am not interested. This is dead. This is dead. There's no reviving it. King of Pentacles here. There is someone possibly coming in. Could be a Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn. Some of you could even be attracting another Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But I do feel like things feel uncertain right now. You don't know how this is going to turn out for you. Others of you, your person, they would have made a baby with somebody. We have a child outside of the relationship or marriage. And look what we have. The moon represents um, divine feminine energy. And then we have the king of pentacles, which is a father figure. So you have this energy here of something secret, something hidden. There's a relationship that this person has been engaging in outside of your connection, possibly with someone that they work with. Could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces, could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, could be a Scorpio. Sexual addictions. Mm -hmm. It says additions, but I always say addictions, but it could be additions. This means there's a third party. Um, I do feel like you do have a family with this person for a lot of you. It could be a Pisces, but you are definitely putting your foot down here. Leo energy with the seven of wands. That means that you're standing your ground. You're being stubborn. You're protecting yourself. And for sure, somebody's pregnant. Somebody's pregnant. Or this is the mother of this person's child or the father of this person's child. Let's get a message. Mm. They could have a baby with you. You could be you could be the person on the side. Take it how it resonates. I keep getting signs that remind me of you. I can't ignore them anymore. I need to reach out to you. I can never find the right words to say. I push you away instead of bringing you closer to me. So somebody is about to reach out to you. I do feel like a lot of you do not know about this other baby or this other person, um, but you just know this person is toxic and you're tired of them. Everything is about them. This is a one-sided relationship. Maybe this jealousy is the fact that they have this other baby or this other person. That could be how you feel. Whatever the case, it's ending. All right, y'all. Like the video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Peace.